as to who we are and what we have done. And therefore, God wants us to stand up and he wants us to acknowledge where we are and what we have done so we can move forward, so he can speak to us in ways in which he desires to. Oftentimes, you guys, God is ready to enrich us and implant some things in us, but he can't do it right now because he wants us in a certain place. Yes. And until we and, 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 and the way we get to that place is that we have to confess. Say confess. 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 We have to confess. And today we're going to deal with two final areas in confession. We're going to deal with confess our sins to one another, and then we're going to go into confess our sins to God. Okay? Y'all don't shake on me. It's going to be okay today. It's going to be all right because God requires his people to open up to him. Amen? Amen. We should want to open up to the, to the Lord that we serve. Yes. And, yes. and an opening up is a confession. You know, before me and my wife got married, while we was in the dating stages, we had to open up to one another. We had to confess some things to one another because if the relationship is going to be successful, then you should know any and everything about the person that you sleep with. You should know each and everything that the person that you adore, the person that you love, the person that you have a connection with. You shouldn't have to hide anything from the person that you truly love. Amen? And so, therefore, confession is okay. And we're going to learn some things today. I pray that it's going to bless us in a major way. We're going to deal with confessing sins, uh, confessing our sins to one another. And let me help, let me help you for a second. It's not, just, it's not acknowledging all of the wrong things that you've done. That's right. That's, That's right. not what I'm talking about. That's the first thing that comes to mind when people hear that word is that confess, you know, oh, whoa, oh, now I have to tell them everything that I've done wrong. No, 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 no. Remember, it's the acknowledgement. It's an acknowledgement. And you must acknowledge God in all of your ways that he may direct your path. Amen? And so we have to first and foremost realize that God desires an acknowledgement. And not only does God desires an acknowledgement, we like it too. Because I want you to be upfront with me if you desire to have a connection with me. Uh, you don't. You, you shouldn't have to hide any skeletons in the closet. If me and you are going to be connected, we're going to be truly friends. We're going to love one another. We're going to appreciate one another. And so, therefore, a, a, a confession must happen. But check this out as we go to James chapter number five, verses verse sixteen. It reads from the New Living Translation like this, you guys. It says, "Confess your sins to each other." And pray for each other so that you may be healed. Okay? Let me stop right there for just a second. And this is what and this is what the Lord is saying. This is the characteristics of God. Okay? Now we must be careful who we talk to. Amen. Okay? We must be very careful who we talk to. And check out what the scriptures I'm gonna read it real slow, and then I'm gonna go somewhere with this. Watch this. It says, Confess your sins to each other and pray. For each other that you may be what? Healed. And so therefore the person that you are talking to, the person that you are acknowledging some things to, you have to make sure that that person has a connection with God. Because when you are truly confessing and talking to this person, that person is going to go before the Lord with or for you. And that person should have an intimate connection with God that when he or she speaks to God, it provides healing to you. It provides some healing. This person should have a connection with God. It's not just speaking to any and everybody. It's not just talking to any and everybody because any and everybody is not going to go before the Lord and pray for you. That's right. And so you have to look at the scriptures for what it says. It says, confess your faults one to another. And when you and when that person does that, that person 
is going to have a genuine love for your issues. For you to be healed. And so therefore, it says in the latter part of the scripture, it says the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power and produces results. This person that you talk to, your connections that you have, they should have a life that you see the results from. Yes. If this person has a prayer life, you should see the fruits of their prayer life. Yes. Because any and everybody is not going to have their respect for you. That's how. That's why you have to watch who you talk to. Mm -hmm. And the point that I pulled out from that, check out the, the point. And this is the reason why we confess to one another. It says, it is so that we can pray for those sins. It is, it is, it is important that you get this. It's important that we realize that when we're communing and talking and, and encouraging one another, that whatever you come to me with, I go to the Lord on that. Mm 